Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Well, is it timeless? That is a question because I am going to call this episode something like what do you need to let go or what cycle is closing out? We're going to be exploring that kind of topic today and the reason we're doing that is in honor of the eclipse that is coming up on Thursday. So in terms of timing, this is tying in to the energies of this eclipse. But equally, if you watch this a week from now, two weeks from now, several months from now, it doesn't matter. Okay, there will be some message in here that is relevant for you. So I went to my local park yesterday and I'll put up on the screen the different groups that we're going to have. Oh, before I talk you through that, what's in the jar? We've got, well, firstly, we have nothing on the table, right? So it's like we've eclipsed out everything. And apologies about the lighting. You will see the reflection of my blinds here and there now and then. So the lighting is going up and down today. Um, in the jar, we've got samurai quotes. I thought this would be quite cool because the samurai, they use, you know, the tool of choice is their sword. You know, they are cutting things out. So I just thought, well, why don't we have some samurai quotes? So we've got samurai quotes in the jar. And for what you choose, I will put three pictures on the screen. And this time you'll be able to choose a wildflower. I went to my local park yesterday. I just took my phone and I filmed some beautiful flowers in the garden and you will be able to choose your group that way this time. I will also be putting some music by the wonderful Jay. Jay is a part of this pick a card community. She has been, I believe, I think she's been watching the videos for quite some time and recently we had a session together and that was a really good session and I think I ended up going a little bit over time and uh, Jay was, I think she was very grateful. She sent me a, a piece of her music and I was blown away. I listened to it yesterday. I got back from the park and then I opened the email, I listened to the music and I was like, oh, this is so beautiful. And I asked her, would it be okay if I use that music while, you know, the, the flowers are on the screen? And, and she said, yeah, absolutely. So if you like the music, please do uh, give your appreciation to Jay in the comments below. I think that would be a really lovely thing because, you know, we all need encouragement sometimes. We all need, you know, someone to just say, it, it's amazing the power of a positive compliment or a bit of encouragement. Uh, I know that because you guys encourage me on here all the time and thank you for that. But um, please do show your love and appreciation to Jay for the beautiful music she has supplied for today's episode. Now I'm not sure what flower I'm going to put in for you. My guess is it's, it's either going to be this bud type flower or these other, well, the same flower bloomed. And I actually don't know what that flower is at all. So if anyone knows in the comments below, please tell me what the flowers are. I'm so unfamiliar with flowers. I'm going to learn. You know, I'm in a phase of learning. I'm learning all these different things. 
and but you guys are brilliant because you or well, somebody knows that's that's what I know someone in the audience always knows so let's see what cycle is closing out for you what do you need to let go what's what's done in your life we're going to take a look at that in this reading and I'm excited to do this one because I think a lot of people have been feeling a little bit on edge a lot of people and they've been describing this to me people have been describing to me that they're feeling a bit on edge they're feeling like something's about to happen they don't know I, I think some of all of this could be the build-up of energy you know regarding this eclipse basically let's see all right there we go we'll take that one so we've got that and we're gonna take now which one, I think we'll take one of these But I hope you're doing well wherever you are. Group number one. And we will take one of these as well. We've got this lovely rare Chuck Spezzano deck. I was just chasing up another rare deck that I ordered, which was supposed to arrive last year and it still hasn't arrived okay <clears throat> let's take a look <clears throat> wow interesting way i don't know if anyone <laughs> needs some throat chakra clearing group number one all right let's take a look let's see what's going on Li limitation is power okay limitation is power lean into your limitations incredible i have never seen this card limitation is power do you know this does make me think of saturn because saturn is all about limits but through the limits you actually will create discipline you can create self-discipline it's amazing because I've just watched a ton of um, samurai quotes and the samurai were all about this. They were very much about discipline. So there's something about you picking up power through disciplining yourself. That's really interesting. Gosh, that's fascinating. All right, let's have a look. Still none the wiser about what cycle you're closing out, though. We'll see what these other cards have to say. Appreciation. Okay. Let's have a look. It's a lady in a garden. I don't know if it's going to focus. There we go. We've got a number 15. It's a six. That's in tarot, typically a number of love. And we have here the energy of appreciation. That is pretty amazing because this morning I was thinking about specifically the energy of appreciation and how it's one of my favorite energies. And I was thinking about Abraham Hicks. If you've ever listened to Esther Hicks' channel, The Abraham Collective, you will know that she talks a lot about the energy of appreciation. And yeah, I, I think it's a terrific energy. It's a good one to just be in. All right, Sanctuary Grace, lovely. This is so beautiful. It's a great big heart, open arms, Sanctuary Grace. Okay, we've got a number 86, which I do believe is that 14, which is a five facade well i think this is the thing that's got to be eclipsed out <laughs> right this is what's got to go it's the facade if you've got any form of facade up any kind of mask somewhere where you're not being genuine in your life that's got to that's well, there's something about this that has to be eclipsed out. Because w what's the deal with a facade? It means we're hiding. And you're hiding your true authentic self, right? And in there, is that like a... Gosh, it looks like... 
looks, is that like St. Paul's Cathedral? It's pretty amazing. Well, what I know from these two cards is that if you're not showing up as your authentic self in life, there's something about that that has to stop. Okay, so let's do some digging, shall we? Let's see what more we can find out. And I think I want to start here because we've got some guidance straight away about, about what you have to stop. So or what has to stop? Or what cycle is closing out? And look, you don't do this all at once either. Don't feel like it's some great big action or something you have to do or um, no, take small steps. That's, that's another thing that we've got here, okay? So we've got a man holding the hand of a small child. So if there are areas in your life where you are not being authentic, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty strict here. I'm just saying you've got to stop that, right? So like, that might be full on because it might be very difficult for you to just change overnight. That's, that can be too big of a, a thing. And we've got here limitation is, is power. We've got strong Saturnian energy here. And it's really interesting because we've got all this orange here, but we've got blue in the center. The dark blue is the Saturn. The orange is the sacral chakra. So I would say that there's some addictions or something that need to be uh, reined in, definitely. So this eclipse time is great because, because you can use it to put new good healthy habits in. Okay, so that's really important. And take small steps. That's why I brought up Saturn here. Because we've got this small child and we've got this old man who's kind of walking slowly with the small child, right? So there's something about the changes that you need to do right now that require very small steps. And it feels like you're not supposed to do anything big or drastic. And I think you know what this is. I think you know where you've been hiding, right? I think you know where you have been. And I also, I want to get the, use the phrase withholding as well. Sometimes like withholding is not a good energy, uh, especially if you're withholding love or compliments or goodness or something like that. That's, that's not so good, right? Let's take a look. So let's see you're taking small steps and there's some kind of facade here that needs to be broken down. And I would say this is to do with you. There's an area in your life where you're not showing up authentically. All right, Ten of Pentacles pops out. So there's an area in your life where you're not showing up authentically. And I would say that this could be, this could be at home. Uh, this could be with the people that you love, the people who are closest to you. you. You might not be able to be your full self around them. And wow, do I relate to that. I, yeah, I had that for, yeah. You know, I, I couldn't share aspects of my true self with the people closest to me. Um, I, I know that thing. But then... You know, you go somewhere and, and you be you be yourself, but it's like there's no hiding. That's that's the other thing. I mean, that's something I've realized. There there is no hiding. I just had the phrase pop into my mind. Yeah, people are too smart. <laughs> there's there's no hiding. All right. So there's something where you're not being your true self at home with your family, with your closest people, right? I just saw on the bottom of the deck, 
holding on, something you're holding on to. It's really interesting that this comes up because um, I had an insight about this card. Gosh, what was it? It was something around desire. Because what, what, what are you, when you're holding on to something, there's something you're desiring too much because the holding on energy is strong. Right, so there is something about letting go or relaxing in an area of your life as well. Maybe there's no need to, well, there, yeah, there probably isn't a need to have a facade or to hide behind a mask or any of that. Okay, and I relate to this because for the longest time I used to want to write books and things like that and I used to want to have what do they call it a non de plume like another name and all that kind of thing and that, that's fun and it's interesting because we brought up Esther Hicks and how she channels right so she's got a con construct she's got like a construction around her through which the wisdom flows so that's kind of interesting like when you channel and she always says oh it's not me it's not me it's the greater wisdom that's coming through right so that is very interesting um limitation is power saturn structures so it's kind of like sometimes we create structures and then it's like through that structure the wisdom can flow or the love can flow through in many ways like i suppose what i do here with this pick a card it is a structure also with the monthlies that I do there's a, a structure but I wouldn't call that a mask because I am showing up as myself and I use my real name and this is me and you know but yeah non plumes and structures or I'm channeling on behalf of xyz like that's all fine that there's nothing wrong with that that can be you know and and through that you can create your ten of pentacles so there's value in facades as well there's value in structures and, and things like that let's explore a little bit more let's let's get one more for here and then we'll get one for each of these and just see what happens okay so i'll take one more here all right i'll take that one here and that one there all right let's see i don't feel the need to draw one for that so let's see what else is coming through so in terms of the facade that i was saying that okay you need to let go of that or be your authentic self or something like that let's see all right so yeah seven of wands i mean this is a thing of defending there's a defensive energy here there is and this could be all part of your perception actually whereas maybe when the the facade comes down like so when the facade is up then it's like there is a need to be defending a lot but it's like when the facade comes down maybe all these wands go down too like all the maybe you perceive that a lot of people want to attack you or something like that but actually maybe when you just be your authentic self all these ones come down people understand you people can then connect to you heart to heart so there's something like that going on here okay and these i wanted to clarify on because it's like you do have a lot to give so let's see if we get any more guidance okay. all right so yes that makes sense yeah you have a lot to give you do like you have a lot of love to give right so that's what we have here you have a lot of love to give but you are held back you're held back so we're gonna take a look at that what is holding you back and it's interesting because limitation is power see and that is that this is also reminding me of a psychiatrist called eric from who talks about like through structure you find freedom so things like through structure so through 
the structure of marriage, for example, you actually find freedom and can deliver the love and all that kind of thing. Like it is good to be in a structure. And we were just talking about structures that that are good. So for example, like I've got my monthly report and it's very structured and, you know, I but it's where I'm able through that I'm able to pass a lot of like love to people kind of thing um but there's no facade I'm I'm turning up as me so all right let's take a look at let's clarify let's clarify the hanged one because why what's the delay To you, bringing down the barriers, being your authentic self and giving what you have to give directly to whoever, whatever it is. So, okay, let's, let's ask about the hanged one. Why is that there? The hanged one. The hanged man. <laughs> All right, let's, let's take that. Oh, Rahu in the third, outwardly brave. All right, let's have a look. Come on, what's in here? Outwardly brave, but receives criticism. Yeah, look at that. That's this card. It's like, you know, she, she does, she does want to give, but it's, there's, there's a barrier. There's, and who, who was it that said defense is the first form of attack? Is that a thing? I'll just put that in there. <laughs> you guys can ponder that one. But um, outwardly brave, receives criticism, excellent communicator, gift of gab, difficult relationship with siblings, strong physique, good energy. Okay, well, I think what's being eclipsed out for you or what you need to let go, it's, it's this, it's the facade thing, it's that's the only discordant energy and I think that's what is uh, creating a lot of delay as well. Unnecessary delay, right? Good. All right, well, let's take one of these, maybe even two, and then we're just about done. All right, what's in here? Hang on, I'm going to do this. I didn't fold them twice. There we go. Now it'll sit properly. Uh, oh, this is fantastic. Yeah, I love this. Beneath the instinct to fight, there lurks a diviner instinct to love. So that is a samurai quote there. That is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, and to be in that. And look at that. We've got the love here. We've got plenty of love. Right, there's a lot of it. That's good. Okay. But yeah, I am getting the need like to again just say baby steps. Don't do anything all at once or like take your time and yeah, there's <laughs> some kind of don't rush message as well. Um okay, what's in here? Oh, this is, look at that. This is Saturn turning up again. This is great. Do nothing which is of no use. Samurai quote. I mean, could that just be a little bit more Saturnian? I don't think so. Because Saturn's way of loving is to negate what is not love. Right? So negate what is not love. And that is, yeah, get rid of the facade, get rid of the, this could be get rid of the training wheels, this could be, you know, but as I say, gentle, slowly, slowly, one small step at a time. And the sun has come out, isn't that wonderful? All right, well, thank you so much for tuning in, group number one. Let me know how you got on in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two or the flower that is there for group number two, <laughs> I filmed a lot of flowers, so, but I think the buttercup 
if that's right. Well, that's what I know it as. But if I've got it wrong, I'll put something on the screen or one of you lovely people can tell us or confirm what flower it is. Um, welcome to your reading. Now, I apologize about the lighting. I've just moved the little bamboo table from where it was in group one because, I mean, the, the lighting is just up and down right now. Oh, there's nothing I can do because it involves the sun <laughs> and there are clouds. And yeah, I'm still figuring out the lighting here, guys. I thought I found the perfect spot and then the sun decided to come out and it turns out that is not the perfect spot. This is okay, I think, but again, I'll find out because I'm feeling like it's a little bit blue. There are some things I can edit in post afterwards, but I don't know. I prefer to just get it right with natural light so then that way I don't have to do too much tinkering. I'm sure you can see the light is just going up and down, up and down. It's just, wow. I wonder what significance that has. There's a lot of change. There's a lot of change. Look at that. So the reading has begun. I mean, I, I've stopped, started this one two or three times because the lighting is just, yeah, it's like bright, then it's dark, then it's bright, then it's dark. And oh, it's like, okay, so something going on with light already. Yeah, what does that mean? We'll find out. We'll see if we can weave it in to the reading see what happens at group three because oh look can you see it's gone bright again it's just outside it's the clouds that's what it is the sun is just shining as it does it's the clouds that keep moving about today must be windy all right so let's see what we've got now what big cycles are coming to a close what are you letting go what's really changing we've already had this massive light interference today so that I think there's a lot of change here for you group number two Ooh, beyond the ego surrender to the flow of life yeah surrender you see I I want all I want control I want control over the lighting and I'm not getting it and that's ego because ego is like, oh, I want them all to look the same. And, you know, it's, but no, that's, that's not it. We have to surrender to the flow of life. Okay. And it's interesting here, we've got this bright light. Third chakra. So maybe there's something about your confidence that is sometimes really there, sometimes it's not. Because it's the third chakra thing and third chakra is confidence it's very often how we feel about ourselves that's one of the things that's there in the ooh, door to spirit well, that's beautiful we've got five number which is a lot of change okay so there's a lot of change door to spirit Okay. Impasse, interesting. Gosh, this is up and down. This is just like the light, the, the clouds, it's still, the light is still challenging. I wouldn't have been able to film if I was seated where I was. Oh, how amazing. Good fortune gift. Yeah, again, up and down, up and down. Right. Let's take a look at this. This is a very interesting reading. Because on the one hand, you are, you are definitely doing your spiritual work. Door to spirit. There's a readiness. But it's like, Maybe you keep going back to your comfort zone. You're also blocked from something. Or if you're not blocked, spirit is protecting you, which is good. That's a, I love when this card turns up because it's like whenever this card turns up for me, it's like I know 
spirit is protecting me from something that's not right for me okay great <laughs> so that is good but there might be part of you that still wants this okay we've got good fortune we've got gift here and this coming out of this deck is pretty incredible because this particular deck is a chuck spazzano deck it features a lot of negative cards okay so you've got one of the gold banded ones here and it's a really positive beautiful card of good fortune and gift so that's very fortunate because there aren't that many really great cards there are there are we saw that in group one they got a beautiful card as well but okay let's dig into this let's see what we've got going on here I want to clarify on all of these actually okay let's just take one for each So looking at what cycles are closing out what are you letting go queen of wands good and that and, and she appears here with this card of beyond the ego isn't that interesting queen of wands with beyond the ego okay surrender to the flow of life okay door to spirit Two of Pentacles. Okay. Impasse. Four of Cups. Good fortune gift. Wow. kind of like you desire security before you yeah I'm, okay I have a theory here so it's one of the theories I've got yeah you desire security before you will I'll, I'll say it as it's coming you, you desire security before you will give is one of the things okay so that is one of the things that I'm seeing here because one of the ways I'm reading this card at the moment and I told this to group one as well I had this insight about holding on is a desire energy but it's a desire for security yeah so and this has come when we're looking at money it's like you'd love this you'd love to be secure before you take a chance and that's actually but that's actually not how spirit works right spirit works in the opposite way you trust first and then the abundance comes in so there's something where it feels like you're not taking a step forward you are this you are the queen of wands you're massively creative you've got so much to give you've got fully formed perfect artistic gifts that are ready to go right that can be used right now okay so not tomorrow not next year not in two years not after i've paid my mortgage right something like this you know it's like well after i've done this then i'll do the creative thing no <laughs> that's not it there's a strong message here of um yeah this, this is quite a strong spread and i think what you are letting go of is the need to have the big security first that's the cycle that's going to close out so we're going to have an eclipse on thursday and hopefully that is going to eclipse out for you this concept of i need to be fully secure before i take a step 
and before I be me, before I, you know, do my business or my thing or my thing that I think will be really cool and a good contribution to the world, whatever that is, could be a business, could be a book, it could be a, some music, an album, it could be a, a channel, right, a, a YouTube channel, you're doing your healing practice. Because I've really got a strong sense, you're ready to go. You've got fully formed gifts that are ready to go. But there's toing and froing, right? We had the light at the beginning of this reading, which was sometimes it was sunny, sometimes it was cloudy, sometimes it was, and it was driving me crazy. And then I had to move this little table, right? Because it's that up and down, up and down, up and down. But you're, you're stuck in a loop or something like this. And the other thing is that the boredom is setting in because this loop, that, that is boring. It's like what's exciting is risk. And you, but obviously don't, you know, do anything crazy. <laughs> don't, don't risk at all. Um, see, I'm very conservative and slow. I take my time. I don't, yeah, but I do do risks as well. Like, you don't have to, it, you know, you can, you can take calculated risks. Let's take a look at, let's, let's clarify on, I want to ask what have you, what are the things you've got to give? I actually want to ask about him. <laughs> let's take a look at him. Let's ask, are you, are you being protected at this time or what, why did this thing come in? the impasse card why did he turn up what are you being protected from are you being protected are you being protected three of cups hmm maybe from friends maybe from friends who aren't supportive of what it is that you want to do I think you're being protected from them. I think you might need to protect yourself from them as well. Just protect yourself from their opinions. Let's just we'll dig a little bit more. Let's ask about these friends. Could be siblings as well. Wow, the Empress, gosh. It's like if you don't worry about what other people think, that's when you're the empress. Because we do have, look at that, because we've got ego hit beyond the ego, beyond the ego and the limitations and the, you know, not now, I gotta, I'll do it when my money situation improves. There's something about you being the empress now. So this has nothing to do with, and because, and this this kind of lies beyond, like, what the friends think or what the other people are gonna say. This is about you being this now. You just radiating this now. You feeling good now. That's the thing that you give to the universe. That's this doorway to spirit. What opens the door and what makes you move through that door is you giving first. You giving your best self, you giving who you are, regardless of it doesn't matter, you know, and the other thing is it doesn't matter who turns up or who's there or even if there's no one, give, right? There's something about you giving. And I always admire the creators who, you know, they... Eckhart Tolle did this, he would turn up and he would do his lectures and maybe two or three people might turn up. Maybe no one would turn up, but he would be there. And so he's giving, he's just, he just keeps giving, even though maybe no one's there, maybe no one's acknowledging or cares. And your friends, I mean, yeah, it's, some of your friends will be supportive, but then some of them just, they might not get it. And that's okay. That doesn't mean that you have to chuck them out either. That's not it. Because 
all people are, we are all one, right? You can't chuck anyone out. <laughs> That's what I've learned. <laughs> but um, yeah, not that I've ever wanted to, of course, but, but like, it's not about that. It's about, it's about you evolving to be your full self, your authentic self, to be the empress, but you have to be that now is the thing. And then you will find on the new path that all that you need is provided for you. Because if you hold on tightly to whatever small setup that you have now, because what you have now, it is small in comparison to what it's going to grow in the future. Okay, your money and wealth and everything will grow the more you be the empress you know, the more you are radiant, feeling good, feeling healthy, looking after yourself, self-discipline, self-respect, all that good stuff, that's going to create more abundance than you can imagine right now. So you could hold on to, to what you have very, very tightly, but it's like that holding doesn't allow spirit to come in and you co-create, you know, you want more of what's in here that's what you really want let's have a look okay so how do we get to being the empress more and more because the universe will help you it will eclipse this dynamic and pattern out where you want the security before you take a step it can eclipse that out but it's like you've still got to do the step you've still got to and that doing the step, it's an energetic thing. It's an internal thing. There may not be any grand outward signs. It's about, it's about you. Let's have a look. What do I want to, where do I want to go next? I think I want to get just one for here. And then, and I think we'll get a couple of quotes. Because there is a boredom at the moment that that's kind of repeated you're in a loop and you're like i know this is not it <laughs> and i know there's so much more to life and you're in the loop and you're like so what's going to break the loop because yeah the eclipse can help but you've still got to do something yourself so what actions do you need to take all right let's ask that what actions do you need to take wow king of wands again and this could be a divine counterpart coming in for you or a healing in your relationship. Okay. But it's like action. It's, and, and that's what this is. This is confirmed. You need to act. The masculine energy is the energy that's all about action. It will do it. It will get it done. So there's some action you need to take. And that's why, yeah, I was saying the universe can only do so much. Yeah, the universe can eclipse out a dynamic, but who's getting up in the morning early to meditate right or to um you know i don't know you might have to register a domain name or <laughs> you might have to start a youtube channel right Who, who's who's putting the rubber to the road who's who's doing the actions and it's good to not wait do you know i remember when i started my youtube channel and yeah, people sometimes ask me, oh, did you figure out a day? Did you use the, the Vedic system to figure out which day you would? No, I didn't. I just woke up one day and I thought I'm making it today. I didn't care what day it was. <laughs> I was just like, it's happening today. So yeah, I, I don't actually try to figure out, oh, what's the right day? Because with Vedic astrology, I mean, you could, you could look up the correct minute. Like you could, you could look up the correct day, the correct hour, the correct minute. Like... I don't want to be tied to, um, yeah, like to, to a system uh, too much, you know. All right, let's see what we've got here. And the samurai quotes, this is full of samurai quotes. The samurai were all about doing. They were all about this so much. And it's interesting, I was comparing the samurai quotes today to stoic wisdom. Stoic wisdom really values just having the wisdom. Whereas the samurai quotes value doing the action they sort of say wisdom is a baseline but what you really want is you want action so we'll see what comes here 
And of course they've got their sword and all that kind of thing. And I thought the sword is appropriate because we've got Eclipse and we're cutting something out. So, all right, now what have we got here? We have the sense of honor which cannot bear being looked down upon as an inferior power. That was the strongest of motives. Yes, I love this quote. This is really powerful. And this is really tapping into this here. This is so perfect for this spread because we've got beyond the ego and ego. And I think what's, I think you've possibly got someone in your space who is reflecting strong ego back to you. I feel like you are being protected from that person. So don't worry about it, but look at what this is. And this is what, this is what you kind of don't want. It might be being mirrored back to you, but, um, Yeah, the sense of honor which cannot bear being looked down upon as an inferior power. That was the strongest of motives. Look at that. That's a strong ego motivation there. And that's why it's like, start the business and fail. You know, like, and believe me, I've done so many, I've started various things and failed so many times. You know, this one is is working for now and it's good and you know but like equally uh, I'm not afraid to fail or be looked down upon as an inferior power and it's actually that that makes me powerful that I'm not afraid you see and so because you don't want the motive of your life to be oh I lived my whole life so I wasn't humiliated or I lived my whole life so that I looked good. No, you, you want, I lived my whole life to do all the stuff I wanted to do and that I thought would be fun and I thought would be, you know, um, you want to have lived your life out of love, that I was loving and I, I, I got to do what I wanted to do and I didn't care how stupid it looked to others or whatever, right? It's like, oh, I did it. Yeah. Because when you don't care about, and this is ninth house sort of power, when you don't care about what others think, this is the nine, three axis that we're looking at here. When you don't care about what others think, nothing, nothing can own you, nothing can control you. And you're creating from a pure place. You're creating from love. Group two, I'm excited for what you've got coming ahead. Let me know in the comments below how you got on with this reading. There's so much power here and there's so much power here because, and you might have been being blocked by negative spirits as well because your light is so beautiful. You must share it with the world. There's something, yeah, it's like there's a really strong, this strong light here and that's why I can I can see what's happening group two let me know how you got on in the comments below I would love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time hi there group number three if you chose group number three or the flower that could be it could be a cherry blossom but it could be this other one that I really liked that these little purple tiny flowers with the green, that's kind of what I'm thinking for you. But anyway, welcome. <laughs> I don't know what the flower is at all, but it's in my local park and it's pretty amazing in England. There are so many wonderful gardens and parks and natural spaces where you can go and relax. Okay, let's see what is being eclipsed out for you. By the way, the lighting is up and down here. I've decided to just, I did group two here and I think this is possibly this, when I edit, I'll find out how it looks. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's funny, I watch other YouTubers and They'll talk about the lighting and how all oh, the lighting's terrible and this and that. And I've read comments by people in the comments below saying, you YouTubers, you're always 
worried about your lighting no, nobody cares <laughs> so no but I actually do care <laughs> I don't know what it is because you want it to look like as close to what it looks like in reality as possible that's what I want to achieve anyway so at the moment I've got my back to a light well the light source which is the window I think this is working out I think this could be the place where I do the readings from we'll find out I'm still still working it out oh look at that having it all you want to have it all don't you <laughs> don't we all don't we all want to have it all all right let's see that one's poking up let's take it all right so group three what is being eclipsed out what are you letting go oh okay stuck happy life live a less guarded life yes wow and she's blooming she's like a flower okay it's very lovely she's yellow we've got like a third chakra yellow color Ooh, healer of the ages yes wonderful and we've got a six here in tarot the number of love it's also venus as per vedic numerology which is all about love Ooh, bittersweet interesting Oh, she's got a tear she's crying maybe she worked really hard to make that cake but how well is it being received okay so got a blue color there oh how wonderful this is amazing the Chuck Spetsana deck we've got all really positive cards come out that's great being carefree gift that's lovely which is kind of dancing there's flowers everywhere springtime mm. so what's being eclipsed out there's something going on here let's take a look let's see what this bittersweet card is about what is the bittersweet card about? Any further guidance? Further guidance, bittersweet. Queen of Wands, yeah, all right. So you're very creative. It's like you're creating something or you've created something. Maybe you're hoping it would go better than what it did. You're hoping it will go down better than what it did or it would it be appreciated more or but i'm not getting any because she's very confident in her creativity she doesn't mind so much what the reactions are she just creates the queen of wands if someone doesn't like it that much, she's like, well, that, this is what I made. I think what's being eclipsed out is I think you caring what other people think. This is, this is a little bit like group two, actually. It's quite interesting. I think you're learning how to be a confident creator. And I think you're learning how to take on a leadership role in your life with those around you being carefree look at that yeah these two very much go together you're learning how to to, to be an artist artist doesn't a true artist creates they're like okay how, how you take it is how you take it this is what i'm making and they are so interesting we've got the blue here because this is the 511 li line in Vedic astrology so we've got Leo which is the golden color yellow the sun that's Leo that's this right 
That's that regal, royal, I'm creating this, I'm shining like this, this is what it is. Now what's on the other side of 5, the 5-11 axis? 11, Aquarius, right? Aquarians, they actually do really care what other people think. They, they care what their peers think of their creativity. That's very important to them. And that's actually a, a good Aquarian who works with this energy will actually be excellent at handling criticism. And maybe that's what you are eclipsing out. Maybe you're eclipsing out how you used to take criticism. Interesting. Let's keep going here. So anything else to say about maybe about the Aquarian energy or do you know what? Let's since we've gone down the astrology road, let's take one of these. How about just one more card here? Bittersweet. And then we'll explore the other things. Ketu in the third. All right, let's see what this is about. Ketu in the third. Yeah, which is interesting because that's friends, right? And it's like we don't care. We eclipse out what other people think. That can be a way of reading this. Strong and adventurous, loves music and dancing. Amazing, because we've got her dancing here. Uh, might be psychic, strong mind, great money manager, sociable, helps family and friends. Yeah, and I think as well, you eclipse out, you like you don't care what other people think anymore. I think that's what's being eclipsed out. Amazing. And that's that is that will that's more power to you. That's kind of like Perhaps your energy was wasted on, uh, yeah, maybe caring too much about what I think others think, and that was at the cost of your creativity. That is that is true. That's good. Okay. So I think we know what is being eclipsed out, but let's explore what you've got coming in and that what's really nice about this reading is that I think we're going to be spending a lot more time on what you're manifesting and what's coming in so let's see healer of the ages because I think you're manifesting more healing energy you're manifesting a stronger intuition right we've got strong intuition here strong mind might be psychic so with the energy that you save from worrying or caring about what others think that's more power to you. That's more energy for you to be creative. You're being carefree. You're being more productive. So healer of the ages. What are you healing? Is something healing? Judgment. Yeah, judgment. This I would say this is your own judgment of yourself. I think you're possibly really hard on yourself. Because look, the other thing is this person... He's not really reacting much. <laughs> That's the other thing. Like, she's crying because she's put her life into this cake. She's like, "Oh, I've worked so hard making this beautiful cake." And if that, and that's the reaction. It's deflating for her. She's got the tears coming. So, because she, she, she want, she might have wanted uh, a particular reaction, which she didn't get. Which is interesting because then, well, why, like, because if it's a true gift of love, then, see, there, there might be some wanting. I will explore that. Because, you know, when it's a true gift of love, you don't mind. They could like it, dislike it, doesn't matter. You made that through your love. You know, that was your choice you putting all that energy into that. And I, what I, I brought this up to say, she's neither, to me, she's neither looking, let's bring it in focus, this one. She's neither looking elated or deflated. She's looking pretty neutral to me. Yet this one wants a big reaction, doesn't she? So that's interesting. Is this pure free giving, right? When it's pure free giving, you don't mind. You're like this. When it's pure and free giving, you're the queen of wands. 
you're giving from a place of I want you to have this you can do with it whatever you want right so judgment I think the judgment that you're looking at here is something to do I think you're hard on yourself and you might want to check where is your giving coming from maybe or perhaps this is being reflected back to you yeah this could be perhaps perhaps this is being reflected back to you so perhaps someone is giving you something that they have absolutely put their heart and soul into and you've just gone oh, that's nice <laughs> you know so maybe that you might be in some situation where maybe you caused the tears in someone else because you didn't appreciate their creativity enough that is possible okay so you'll have to see how this is playing out for you in your world but judgment is in focus right what else do we want to know about healer and you know maybe here's another thing maybe you not caring is actually a gift to this other person because they need to learn how to give with, from a pure heart from a pure place so perhaps actually because this has come judgment has come with healer of the ages you are the healer okay and you're healing them through tough love again we've got Saturn we've got Aquarius Saturn Aquarius is tough love very interesting we've got a few different things playing out here really 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 interesting all right let's keep going so let's explore a little bit more you're a healer and and what <laughs> we're all right let's shuffle a bit more oh i did just see a flicker of ten of swords there i can't unsee it i didn't draw it though okay so there's there might be some pain in this situation here oh it came god oh, get out <laughs> oh, no way oh this is a fun job i tell you all right now yes ten of swords look at that i did see it it flicked i saw the flicker of it when i let me know if you saw the flicker of this when i was shuffling yeah there's some pain here all right yeah i mean you not caring about someone or something could be causing them pain i do see that but it's like but you're a healer and you know what's good for this person and sometimes part of being a healer is caroline mace talks about this and i love that she talks about this she talks about part of being a good healer is not fixing a wound too quickly because you want that person strong you know um so i think there is that kind of message here there might be someone in your life where they desperately need your approval or your love or you you know something like that but you not giving it is actually you helping them to become a strong independent person on their own right so there's something very strong going on here where you are actually helping someone by not yeah kind of i've got, got the phrase bandaging up a wound too quickly or like kiss it and make it better like you could just relieve something quickly and easily but it's like you know that by you not doing it you're making them stronger i hope this makes sense i know it's very yeah interesting but like uh yeah it it I, yeah those words just were coming out so i was letting them come out i'll rewatch it in the edit i'll also see does that make sense i don't know because one word was just coming after the other um all right good because also we've got ketu ketu is very healing ketu is like ketu and ascendant people are healers and all that kind of thing too ketu is healing right we've got a lot of healing energy here you are you're, you're some kind of healer and but you're um you're doing everything that you're doing 
for the good of the other person and not for yourself. Because you're in this state here, right? As I say, there's lots of different strands here we could, we could take, but ultimately I do think you are this. Deep down you know you are too and you are living a happy life. This is you, you're blooming, you're flower-like, you're dancing, you're singing, you're having a good time. That's good, that's gonna continue. I kind of wanna ask about this situation, if it is the case that you are having to be strong for someone or not heal their wound too quickly, or is there any resolution here or any guidance any guidance on oh high priestess yeah don't speak don't speak and what's that poking through is that the magician oh, let's have a little look we just have a little look yeah it is the magician i thought so okay so we've got a don't speak message. All right, fine. We don't we won't draw any more there. We'll take one more and just one more card about this situation. Magician, well, what are you magicking up? <laughs> what are you um That's the other thing about this situation. This could also be a situation where some, somebody wants you to go to them and to eat their cake or something like that or is it like no like they have to give it to you as well that's that's another okay that's another strand anyway let's let's just ask resolution any any action any steps oh we're at the 18 minute mark okay gotta get into the quotes this has been very interesting though this reminds me of um, in, in Jiddu Krishnamurti, he sits with David Bohm and this other guy who's a psychiatrist and he does this thing with Krishnamurti all about eat my candy or something. It's so funny. Oh, if I could just find that bit. I don't know. Where, oh, there's so many lectures. Because I, oh, I could put it at the end of this video, but I don't think I'll find it. I'll try. It's very funny. But it's about that. It's about sort of... Um, yeah, people who, who manipulate and things like that. All right, anyway, let's one more card here. Just one card on guidance. You are this healer who's having to be strong, let's say, for example, and not bandage up a wound too quickly. By the way, that's very specific, I know. This might not apply to everyone. Oh, wow, okay, doing a second, gee. Well, that's a message of... Um, there's an independence thing here helps others grow spiritually yes 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 helps others grow spiritually yeah you're doing good there, so if let's say for example you didn't relate to this very specific situation that I've been talking about or some of the specific situations what I'm getting for what's being let go I think you're letting go of I think you're letting go of being manipulated. She's got tears. Yeah, I think you're being letting. Let, yeah, I think you're letting go of being manipulated or caring too much about what other people think. And I think that's a really good thing. Two K two cards as well. So this is mastery. This is like you've been honing these skills over lifetimes. Amazing, amazing energy here, right? All right, let's take a look and see what's in here. Now we've got samurai quotes. Samurai sword cuts stuff out, right? Cuts out what's not what's not working. Yeah, and look at that. See, like you're not gonna be manipulated. Look at all the swords in there and the crying there. That that is interesting. You're not gonna be manipulated anymore. Very, very interesting spread. Very strong spread. They've all, all three have been really strong spreads. Everyone's in a strong place, I'm feeling. Okay, I'm just gonna fold that. Interesting, we've got two here. We only had one in group two. All right, knowledge becomes really such 
only when it is assimilated in the mind of the learner and shows in his character. Yeah, you got to walk the talk. You got to, and but you're doing it. You're doing it, and I think everything that you are doing is. Look at that. You're being the healer, right? You are just embodying it, and you're embodying the knowledge really beautifully. It is there in your character. It's in your every word, your every action, in all your behaviors. You're doing it. You're doing great. Excellent. Okay, that's good. And one more. Wow, yes, this is about doing. Look at that. Hang on, I'm going to fold this so it sits properly. Here we go. Having wisdom and talent is the lowest tier of usefulness. This is what I found about the samurai quotes, that they're really big on doing. So whereas the stoic wisdom people, they are, you know, you better get the wisdom first rather than go to business school. It's like, don't go to business school, come and get the wisdom first, then start your business kind of thing. Whereas I feel like with the samurai people, they are very much wisdom is yeah like the, the the baseline but it's about doing it's about fighting the fight being on the playing field being on the battlefield you know it's about being in the game uh, rather than being on the sidelines that's what I get from the samurai the samurai quotes but yeah so you've got this healing talent and wisdom you got to use it more so you got to, there's something about you sharing more, sharing what you know. Group number three, this has been an amazing reading. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.